Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to review Dot OS that's officially available for Redmi Y2. So let us go to the about phone section. So here, as you can see, it says Dot OS version 5.1, and this is really stable ROM. Speaking about security patch, it is May 5th, and build date is 29th May. Kernel provided in this ROM is Stormbreaker. Going back, as you can see, the whole UI is redesigned and is more smooth. Now speaking about safety net, safety net on this device is passed. As you can see, safety net is passed by default. I have not installed Magisk. Now going to settings, customization. Here as you can see, customizations menu is quite different compared to other ROMs. Going to wallpapers, here you can change wallpaper according to your requirement and you get these built-in wallpapers. Going to AOD and lock screen, here you get always on display, edge lighting and you also get to change its color. Going back, going to status bar, here you get an option to enable or disable battery percentage. If you turn it off, battery percentage is completely hidden or it's partially visible inside or completely visible. Scrolling down, you also get an option to show clock in notification panel or you can also change its position. You also get an option to enable or disable seconds. Scrolling down, here you get a traffic indicator that helps in knowing your internet speed. I have currently set a threshold frequency of 1 kbps. If I reduce it, as you can see, you are able to see 0. Under battery light, you get an option to enable or disable blinking while your battery is low or you can also enable or disable it when you are using DND. Now going back, going to quick settings, here you get an option to enable data usage. As you can see, my data usage is currently 7.3 GB. Scrolling down, here you get all the general functionalities like changing QS, rows, columns, etc. Going to app lock, here you get to see all apps and you can add app lock to any of the apps which you like. Like now I have added it to Adobe. Going to lab, here you get an option which automatically sets a theme that's good according to your wallpaper. It's basically a feature taken from Android 12. To show it, let me go to home screen. Now it's enabled and I turn on dark theme. This theme I did not create. The computer itself created and it's looking good. You also get an option to disable it and take full control but I would like to keep it enabled. Going to clock face, here you get different clock styles that you can use. I basically use default or fluid. You can comment down your favorite. Going to buttons, here you get a plenty of options if you are using normal navigation bar but if you are using gestures, I don't think they are any useful. Going to themes, here you get to change fonts. There are plenty of fonts but I generally prefer Gsans or the default one. Scrolling down, here you get different icon pack like you can change it to device default, felt, vector, circular, sam like according to your preference. Now under icon shapes, you get device default, squircle, pebble, etc. All these options, general options. Here a special option that's available exclusive for this ROM is disable notification transparency like it provides a notification transparency whenever in lock screen or even in notification bar. Going to system, here you get plenty of options that according to me is quite useful. Under gestures, if you want to turn on torch without unlocking your device, you get an option. So basically, you lock your device and if you press and hold your power key, flash turns on. Here you also get an option to enable or disable brightness slider by sliding across the status bar. You also get an option to double tap to sleep on status bar. It works fine. Scrolling down, you also get different options that you can have a look at. Basically, this option is very useful, that's pocket mode. It prevents your phone unlocking when your phone is in pocket. This option is also very helpful. Under miscellaneous, you get advanced reboot option. Also, you get music visualizer. Like if you turn it on and play any music, you get a visualizer in here. Going to launcher grid, here you get basic option of customizing the grid. Going to security. The major change in this build is that here you get face unlock and you also get app lock as we have seen. Going to system, here you also get an updater. Going to battery, in this custom ROM battery backup is quite good and .OS provided a good battery even in previous builds for YSL. Now going to sound, here you get a new UI that's inspired from MIUI. Scrolling down, here you also get option that is vibrate to indicate call status. That's one of my favorite features. Speaking about stability, this ROM is very stable and you can use it as a daily driver. Almost all ROMs for Redmi Y2 that are available are bugless and you can use it. This ROM especially is very smooth and you can use it as a daily driver. I am insisting because it's having a good battery backup and also you are getting a good gaming performance. 
I don't game much but I played COD once on this device and it did not lag. If you want to install this ROM, open the link in description that I provided that says ROM zip. Uh, this is the official website of .OS. Here as you can see you get this option. In GApps basically you get Play Store built in whereas in Vanilla it's not built in. You have to flash GApps. I recommend you using Nick GApps Core or Basic Edition if you are using Vanilla. Once you have downloaded it, reboot to recovery. I would suggest you to use Orange Fox Recovery. Once you have rebooted to your recovery, go to Wipe and wipe Dalvik Cache, System and Data and swipe to Wipe. Now navigate to the location where you have downloaded, it should say .os. Click it and swipe. This will install the ROM and you can use it directly if you have downloaded GApps variant. If you have not downloaded GApps variant and you are using Vanilla, you will just need to flash Nick GApps that I link in description. Then reboot and you are ready to enjoy .os. So that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, do like, share and subscribe for more updates.